Hey there, Wiregrass. We're at Trojan Arena for the Great Eight of the WNIT as the Lady Trojans are set to take on the University of Louisiana Monroe for the third time this season. And the Lady Trojans would take the trifecta over the Warhawks with their 11th straight home win. And Coach Shanda Rigby chalks it up to the performance of her veterans. These seniors won't let us go out any other way, but all we've got, they, their word for the game was everything. And they've given everything because ULM was a great team tonight. They had very determined seniors as well, high-level players. And the team just did what they had to do to get those stops at the end to meet and exceed their determination. And it was the usual suspects leading the way again for these Lady Trojans. Six Hollings and May May Hallman willing this team to the next round. I just think that the, you, the harder you work in practice and prepare for the game, like the more ready you're going to be. So I just go hard every day, every rep. And like, I, I love the game, so I'm passionate about it. So I go out there and have fun, do what I do. I really, don't, I really don't have the words to say. I've been trying to figure out what I want to say because I'm so happy, like so excited. <laughs> Good. But, <laughs> Going for three straight of anything can be challenging, but overcoming the same team three times in the season chalks up to winning even the smallest of battles. It is very hard to beat a team like that three times. It is, I mean, <laughs> the odds are, are pretty tough. Uh, both coaches or staffs are going to be making adjustments. Um, and then you get in this situation where the winner of this game gets to go to the semifinal of a national championship tournament. I mean, it was all on the line. So it was going to be tough either way. But this was extra tough tonight, and I felt I felt the intention and the hopes of on both sides of the ball, both teams, of both sets of players. I, it was it was thick out there tonight. Here, the Lady Trojans sit two wins away from a national championship, but they can't get caught looking ahead. We're having a we're having a special moment here. We're having a special season. We're trying very hard to represent this university with a national championship, but it's just one game at a time, and this was a tough one. And um, and. You know, I just pray that we keep it going. I just pray that we keep um, really having the best wisdom to pass on to them because they really want to win. With the win, the Lady Trojans punch their ticket to the Fab Four where they hope to continue their electric postseason run against the winner of Wyoming and Minnesota. In Trojan Arena, I'm Tyler White, WDH in Sports for the Wiregrass.